Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I would like to talk to you about refrigerated trailers. How does it work? How does it look like on the inside? And what's it used for? So this is the engine of the trailer. It's situated between the cab and the trailer. And this is the command controller. These trailers run on diesel, but they can also be plugged into power source right here through this connector. The diesel tank is situated somewhere around the middle of the trailer and it can be fueled from either side of the trailer. Okay, so let's power this up. most of the trailers we've got two areas we got front and back zone one is the front of the trailer zone two is the back of the trailer so let's just set zone one here see how low it goes Yeah, so minus 25 and plus. Plus 25. For this video, we will select minus one in the front and for the back. We'll select plus three. What's it used for? It's mostly used for food, anything from your vegan sausages, from your, your pork chops, your mushrooms, it can be veggies, everything that has to be temperature controlled. As you saw, it can go from minus 20 up to plus 20. So everything in the supermarket shelves are transported in this kind of trailers. In 2020, Mr. Stan Robinson picked up a trailer similar to this one in London who had 39 dead bodies inside. They were migrants, they were all Vietnamese. They were trying to make their way into the United Kingdom looking for a better life. Of course, they were supposed to be alive, but something happened, maybe a makeshift ventilation system just failed. And these trailers being airtight, all of them, 39, were found dead. Other stuff like drugs can be transported in these trailers. For example, the COVID vaccines, I think one of them had to be transported at minus 22. And another one at plus three or something like that but anything from your cough syrup medicines drugs they're all transported in fridge trailers
that wall is going to be separated from the rest of the trailer which let's say we can have here plus three degrees Well, that's it for now. I hope it helps and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.